guys, this is the all new 2023 Mercedes-Benz C43 AMG. It is finished in moonlight white and it does have the black seats with the red accents and it does have the carbon fiber trim inside. Today I'm gonna to be taking this all new C43 AMG on a drive and I'll see how it does. It does have a brand new engine, a 2.0 turbocharged in line four. The previous generation had a 3.0 turbo V6. But let's go ahead and take this all new AMG C43 on a drive and see how it does. So here is the interior of this 2023 Mercedes-Benz C43. So it is the AMG C43 and does have a brand new engine instead of the 3.0 turbo V6 it has the 2.0 turbocharged inline 4. Looks very good from the inside. I really like this new C-Class. I'm not a big fan of those rims. I think that Mercedes-Benz could have gave us a little bit better looking rims, but of course there's other options you could choose from. I think the interior looks good. Steering wheel has a beautiful design. Flat bottom design, it says AMG in the bottom. I really like those uh, two um, knobs. You could change the drive modes uh, from them. You could um, push those buttons to change the exhaust and to deactivate the traction control. This one has rear steering and this AMG I think has most of the packages selected. So let me go ahead and actually show you the packages this AMG has. So it does have the multimedia package, sound package, AMG performance studio package, AMG performance C package advance, AMG night package and it does have a small options like uh, the panoramic sunroof, heated steering wheel, advanced USB package, heat and noise insulated uh, acoustic glass, enhanced ambient lights, and a few other things. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything actually in the description. Price on this one is 77,605 with destination and all AMG C43s come with rare steering. Very impressive, I'll go ahead and test that. So you guys see, beautiful red seat belt and the seat belt actually tightens up and uh, basically pushes me back to the seat. Let me actually go ahead and show you the backup camera. Backup camera resolution is amazing. It does have that 3D view. Very, very clear. You could see the back with a 360 or wide you could have it as auto you could rotate this and see what's around the car this small tiny house is right there and that red house or supermarket is right there on the left very high resolution guys and i really uh, like the camera let's go ahead and test uh, the turning radius as I told you guys it does have rear steering this car look this car feels very <laughs> this car feels smaller than its size because of the steering the rear steering I feel like I'm going just around myself seriously impressive and I really like the rear steering. I think it's really, really good. Um, let's go ahead and take this C43 on a drive and see how it does. When you put it in Sport Plus mode, this thing becomes very, very aggressive. <laughs> 
this thing is insane. All right, so let's go ahead and put this thing back in comfort mode. It does have the AMG, I believe, Airmatic suspension, if I'm not mistaken. But basically, it's an adjustable suspension, so when you change it from comfort to sport, it does change. This thing feels very nice and sporty, and it sounds amazing. Let's go ahead and put this thing back in sport plus mode. Downshift, second gear. Such a beautiful sounding exhaust from this 2.0 turbocharged four cylinder engine. This thing seriously pulls hard and it's very aggressive. I'm truly impressed with this C43 AMG. I think Mercedes Benz did a great job. Yes, it does have a 2.0 turbo. Honestly, this thing is very impressive and I love the interior. I love I love the way how it looks like from the outside. Price is a little bit expensive, 77,000 for this one. It doesn't feel like a $77,000 sedan. I love keeping this thing in sport mode or sport plus. very hard to hear over the camera but honestly they're nice and loud from the outside very aggressive very stiff handling is amazing and this thing stays nice and flat I owned a Hyundai Elantra and it did have, I think one of the best sounding 2.0 engine. This thing is one of the best as well. But this AMG is not really giving me that much of pops and crackles from the exhaust. The Hyundai Elantra had more pops and crackles, but this thing is just very satisfying and very good. It's satisfying and very enjoyable. And I love driving this thing in Sport Plus mode. But let's go ahead and talk about this 2.0 turbocharged four cylinder engine. So it's an inline four, produces 402 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. And this thing pulls really, really hard. It is connected to a 48 volt mild hybrid system. A nine-speed MCT transmission, multi-clutch transmission. Such a beautiful ride, really, really fun. This carbon fiber trim is almost a thousand dollar option. 11.9 inch screen, honestly, it looks amazing. Beautiful, nice, responsive, and um, there's an AMG performance uh, menu. And as I said, guys, this thing is seriously fun to drive, a blast. I love the steering wheel, it's wrapped in leather, flat bottom design. You could 
deactivate, uh, you could open and close the exhaust valve. around turns or corners or sharp turns <laughs> the sound from the exhaust is just perfect so I want to go ahead and tell you more about the rear steering. So since this one has rear steering, when you do something like this, it does actually apply the brake on the most pressured um, wheel. So if the car is tipping to the right side, then it's going to apply some brakes to basically bring it back because rear steering will actually make the car turn too much. So the traction control kicks in applies the brakes so it makes the car basically planted on the road so I'm definitely feeling the brakes being applied on both corners that I really wish that this AMG did when I hold down the downshift button I really wish that it brings it it brings it down to the lowest gear possible and the highest rpm so I could accelerate but the problem that it doesn't do that my Elantra N used to do that which was very nice for passing someone sound from this exhaust 402 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque are more than enough <laughs> guys this thing seriously a blast to drive really fun it sounds amazing but I really wish that it had a little bit more pops and crackles from the exhaust and by the way there's a good amount of pumped in audio that comes from the speakers. As I said, guys, this thing is very controlling, very fun. You feel like you're planted, you're sitting nice and low. And this thing is very controlling. The steering wheel is nice and heavy, but it is nice and light. This car changes directions very quick and I do feel like the back is actually pushing out and coming out when I'm when doing this kind of move. So this thing feels very controlling and very planted and I really love that. <laughs> this thing just wants to go. So as I said guys, it does have acoustic glass it is nice and quiet from the inside. Cars, buses, trucks, everything passing by me. I'm not really hearing anything. Suspension is a little bit on the stiffer side in comfort mode. But I did drive the C300, the non-AMG, and I did find it to be 
a little bit stiff. So I don't expect this one to be comfortable like the C300. But I think it's just perfect in comfort mode, sport mode. This thing is seriously amazing, guys. There's classic, super sport, track. Tells you exactly what percentage the gas pedal is being pressed, the speed, the brake pedal, percent. This nine speed MCT multi clutch transmission is very quick, nice, responsive. And the way how this thing accelerates is just amazing. It sounds amazing. And the pumped in audio actually sounds really good. Not a big fan of the rims on this particular one, but of course you could choose different rims. It does have 18 inch rims but yeah overall this thing is seriously fun to drive if you guys need something that is luxury then definitely go with this c43 transmission goes all the way down to the first gear if you guys need something that is fun but not luxury then I definitely recommend the Hyundai Elantra N it feels sporty just like this AMG it's the same size back seat is about the same size it is fun has adjustable suspension you could adjust the exhaust you could open it or close it you could change the transmission limited strip, uh, slip differential um, you could change uh, the engine from sport to normal so there's a lot of adjustments on the Elantra N. So if you need something that is cheap, but has something very, uh, has similar stuff like this AMG, then definitely go with the Elantra N because it does offer you the same things as this AMG. But if you guys need something luxurious, then definitely go with something like this. C43 is such a beautiful car and 400 horsepower, 402 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque is more than enough the seats are nice and comfortable and they're very supportive around turns they are they will definitely hug you you won't be sliding all over the place as I told you guys steering wheel is nice and light I love the rear steering and I love how confident this thing around turns. This thing seriously feels like on rails when taking turns or sharp turns, I should say. Brakes feel nice and touchy. Visibility is actually very good. And does have a 48 mild hybrid system so the engine was off when I uh, was coming to complete stop but then when I hit the gas a little bit harder the engine uh, turned on but definitely fun to drive comfortable good amount of legroom and headroom in the second row does it have a heads-up display 12.3 inch screen in front of me and then 11.9 inch screen uh, touch screen I love the ambient lights in this AMG C43 seriously a fun car to drive and I really recommend this thing and again guys 402 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque are more than enough this thing feels nice and light does have all the nice safety features does actually have adaptive cruise control and steering assist let me see if I could actually activate that here I'm not 
sure if it has actually a steering assist. I think it only has adaptive cruise control. Yeah, I think it only has adaptive cruise control, but no steering assist. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an acceleration right here. <laughs> this thing is definitely fun to drive. Brake boosting, uh, not brake boosting, but accelerate, yeah, accelerating from a dead stop is really, really fun. And this car is beautiful nice quick responsive sounds amazing and it's just perfect but i really wish that the price was a little bit cheaper seventy-seven thousand for a car that has a 2.0 turbocharged four cylinder engine sounds a little bit expensive but this thing is definitely fun to drive and i really like this uh, c43 the steering wheel looks amazing nice and direct steering wheel but yeah mercedes-benz did a great job with this um, c43 i'm gonna try to brake boost this c300 but let's go ahead and do a brake test here <laughs> definitely good brakes So let's go ahead and try brake boosting it this time. Um, I tried to actually brake boost it, but it did not let me. Um, I think you have to hold down both of those paddle shifters to be able to launch control this thing. I'm not exactly sure. But um, without brake boosting, this, th this thing still launches very good. This exhaust just sounds amazing. Such a beautiful car. I really like this carbon fiber um, trim. Ambient light looks amazing. And overall, this thing is such a joy to drive and I do recommend this C43, but I think the price is a little bit expensive for this C43. But again, guys, it's such a beautiful machine. This thing is out of this world. It sounds amazing. Beautiful transmission, beautiful engine. The handling is just something else. It feels like this car is on rails. So I do recommend this C43. I hope you guys enjoyed this POV test drive of this C43. I just launched my car detailing products. So if you guys are interested in some car detailing products, make sure to check out the link in the bottom of this video to support my channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this POV test drive of this 2023 Mercedes-Benz AMG C43. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come and see Brittany here at Mercedes-Benz of North Haven. And if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, please like and subscribe because it does help a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time.